Clap your hands if you want to make a difference. In my book, it's all letters. Kids, after I'm done, they write letters to me. And they write, man, you wouldn't want to be me when I get back home and look at my emails. When I was in the fourth grade, I started thinking about suicide. This was a tribute to the fact that basically my entire life, my parents, particularly my father, drilled it into my mind that I was the biggest regret of their life. I started by blaming myself for everything. I didn't have any positive support or encouragement in my life, so I started to cut myself. By the time I was in seventh grade, I came close to dying of suicide seven times, eight times. My aunt, who was my godmother, was the only person I could lean on. But then she got terminal lung cancer and got really sick and was ready to die. But what she told me was that God's plan never falters. Well, my, grand, my uh, aunt died and it killed me. I lost the only stable emotional support. I had lost the only person that I felt even loved me. But I went on. I was torn inside, but I had to pick up my mother because she lost her best friend. I felt like that's all she had. But then, my mother came into my room one night and told me that I wasn't helping her enough. When that's all I was doing was trying to help her and it just broke me inside. Then I heard my parents fighting again. I knew that I would be the one to get the heat of it. But I didn't expect my mother to say those things. I thought I was protecting her. So then I cut myself that night, longer and deeper than I ever had before. It was the first time that I used a knife. I let myself bleed and the wounds were so beat I deep I still have scars. I went a week not even looking at my mother. I thought about leaving but I couldn't. I finally broke down and had a gun pointed to my head. My hand was steady and all I needed to do was pull the trigger. I closed my eyes and all of a sudden my mother was in my head and all of a sudden the anger, the heartache, the regret went away. I went home and I knew I couldn't leave. Then later I found out that a friend of mine that night was praying a rosary for me. And somebody went to mass that night for me. And now I realize and know that everything I went through was meant to strengthen me. In addition to what I just told you, I was raped beaten, emotionally torn, and I watched the one I love die. But my life is great. Each hardship has made me stronger. My godmother's death brought my mother and me together. All that I've been through is nothing compared to what so many others go through. Justin, I can only hope that my story can help encourage others. And I can't be silent about the fact that I'm still alive. Whoa!